Well, renters at a local apartment complex say they have been dealing with flood damage and water cutoffs ever since that huge winter storm. They think their units are unlivable, but they still can't get out of their lease. Six News reporter Andrew Moore went to the Brook Apartments today to ask some questions. Andrew. Renters at the Brook Apartment Complex have been dealing with rampant water issues since the winter storm hit. They said the water was turned off and turned back on only to have flooding in many apartments. Some renters want to get out of their lease so they can go somewhere else, but they say the apartment complex won't let them. Renters say contractors have been tearing holes in their apartments left and right, trying to fix leaking pipes. They say some apartments have been completely flooded and not yet treated for mold. One renter has been able to move back in with a parent, but is still being charged. Another says she asked to be moved to a safer apartment, but was told none were available. According to the rental agreement, the apartment complex can end a lease if the damage to a unit is substantial or poses a risk to the tenant. We contacted the parent company to see if they would provide residents this option. And while they sent back a lengthy PR response, it did not actually answer our question. Father Alan Wilson says his son has been able to move out from the apartment and he won't be going back, lease or not. It's not safe at all and we're not letting our, our son go back. I mean, that's just not that's just not an option, um, you know, with his asthma, with the potential of mode. People forced out of their apartment or who cannot live there during repairs can look for help at disasterassistance.gov with FEMA, though that will not protect you from still having to pay on your lease. Andrew Moore, 6 News.